So Sidriya Kwakube has been elected the Deputy Chief Whip of the Democratic Alliance in Parliament. She takes over from Jacques Julius, who had served in that position for the last two years before her election. As Deputy Chief Whip for the DA in Parliament, Kwakube had been vocal on many issues and served as a member of the Health Portfolio Committee during the pandemic. She joins us now to talk about her new position. Sidriya, a very good evening to you and I suppose congratulations on the new role. Let's discuss what it means in practical terms, what will you be doing? Thank you, Sam McGill, and thank you to your to your viewers. Um, good evening to your viewers. Look, I mean, I think for me, the biggest uh, uh, a driver to have uh, ran the internal election to be elected as a deputy chief whip was primarily because in my role uh, as the health spokesperson in the DA, I realized the the really the fact that parliament as a national legislature has been completely over the years diminished in its role and hasn't really taken center stage in terms of what it could do uh, particularly for instance if you look at the COVID-19 uh, pandemic um, if you look at the July unrest in the country all of these things have been big issues in the country and the national legislature has had to uh, adapt to an online working platform, but I don't think that there's necessarily a culture in parliament that says that as members of parliament, all 400 of us, we become the conduit between those who are elected to serve in parliament, uh, the executive and holding them to account. And so for me, accountability is a big thing that has been lacking. And also the fact that, you know, the executive has had almost a free ride over the last couple of decades in parliament where there has been almost uh, kid gloves that they are being treated as. So that has been for me the driving force. And so part of my responsibilities is obviously going to be instilling discipline within the opposition benches as the deputy chief whip of the official opposition, making sure that we are also raising issues and making parliament the center of the people's work and the center of the people's business. Because it cannot be that 400 people who have been elected by the millions of South Africans out there are not connected or at least are not discussing the issues that are most important to South Africans. But realistically, Sevier, how much power influence does the position of deputy chief whip of the official opposition by you to make those changes because as you say you are in a space where there are 400 mps various political parties each with their ideological and policy positions so any kind of shift will require a lot of work yeah and i think look i mean I, and i think the work here you know is is less oppositional and more cooperational and more uh, reaching across the aisle I mean, I think back at, uh, at uh, perhaps even like the fourth parliament or the fifth parliament, for instance, and I realized that there was a culture of at least accountability and collaboration between the political parties. Because, Tembigela, let me tell you, I think there's nothing more disheartening for South Africans at home to turn on the television on 408 and look at a parliamentarians simply having a conversation amongst themselves about the crisis of unemployment, no solutions being driven or being tabled, and uh, the conversation being completely removed from that of the ground. And so ultimately, we've got to have people who espouse the views that parliament should be doing more to hold, the gov to, to, to hold government to account. And so one of the key responsibilities of a, a deputy chief whip and the chief whip is to sit in the programming committee. Now, the programming committee decides what the agenda of parliament should be in the next term. And those are the platforms, in my view, that we should be influencing. I've done my bit um, in the health space, but ultimately there's a lot more bigger issues and there are a lot more issues in the country that need to be the center of, uh, of the national legislature. And that's not happening. Uh, a lot of it is very much political jostling. A lot of it is a lot of heckling and, uh, you know, going after each other. And I think the role requires a lot more political maturity in that we've got to learn to work with each other mm. in spite of our different political um, backgrounds so that we can at least advance what South Africans have sent us there to do. Because people have sent us there and voted for us so that at least we can know what's happening in Metsumahulu, where we can know what's happening in the middle of Limpopo and bring that to the center of the program of parliament, which is currently not happening. And as far as the pandemic, would you say the pandemic has brought parties 
closer or further away from a more collaborative stance, which you say is so desperately needed? Look, I think uh, there has been collaborative moments. You'll remember uh, back in 2020, um, when the pandemic, I think it was in April, when we first had the announcement of the first case of COVID-19 in the country, there was definitely a, a shift in parliament where political parties were saying, we are willing to lend our support to government, we'll do everything in our power to push the message uh, of people staying safe and staying at home and adhering to the, to the lockdown restrictions. However, over the, the month and, and over the last 18 months, really, that confidence has weighed a bit because I think there was then a loss of confidence in what government was able to do. So I think, yes, there's been moments where there's been intense collaboration, which can be commended, but there's also been moments where the executive has been shielded from accountability um, on the basis that they sit on the governing party's benches who have the numbers. But I think the sweet spot, Tembegile, is when you are able to have conversations with people who sit across from you, who are sitting across the aisle to say, I want you to see the importance of why we need to talk about South Africa's economic crisis, mm -hmm. the unemployment crisis. And so it's missing. I mean, if you look at somebody like, for instance, Jackson Mutembo, who, when he died, a lot of people were talking about how he was a great collaborator, how he reached across the aisle often. And I think that's missing in, in our politics. And I think that's why you saw um, a very low voter turnout, because people are losing faith in the democratic process. And we've got to put that back. Let's and so the about, yeah. Pardon me. Let's talk about the, because we're running out of time, let's talk about the DA itself. I mean, based on what you just referenced, the recent local government elections, the political party space in this country is becoming more contested, more players. The Democratic Alliance had for the longest time managed to keep a solid distance between itself and the other opposition parties. This now puts pressure on yourself and the chief whip to make sure that the DA's performance in parliament is outstanding because come 2024, we could see a very different picture for all parties. Absolutely. It's become a far more strategic platform now for, for, for political parties that are represented in Parliament. But also, Tim Begile is now going to be a space. I have no doubt in my mind that come 2024, we're going to see a number of political parties, new players coming into, in, into the space. And so, you know, these coalition agreements and these talks have forced political parties to work together. And I think for me, that is, that is a sign of a, consoli a consolidating democracy. And we've got to hone in on that. And for me, as a young South African, I want to be able to bring the agenda of not only young South Africans, of women, of black South Africans who are still left out of uh, economic opportunities. All of these things need to be at the center of, of, of political debate. Mm -hmm. And uh, politicians can no longer be you know, almost distant uh, from the reality of what the ordinary South African experiences. And so for me, that is a big part of why I wanted this position. And that's a big part of why I want to effect the change that I can. Of course, limited, but I think a lot more can be achieved in a far right. more collaborative space. So if you were, I'm sure you have a lot more uninterrupted time in Parliament. For now, though, thank you so much for being on News at Prime tonight. Sivir Kwahube, the new Deputy Chief Whip of the Democratic Alliance in the National Assembly.